You've spent months creating content, following every SEO guru's advice, optimizing your website, but when you search for your business on Google, nothing. Your website's nowhere to be found. Maybe you're on page five, maybe page 10, or maybe you're not even indexed at all. Today, I'm gonna reveal the seven hidden reasons why your website isn't ranking on Google and give you actionable fixes that you can implement immediately. For context, over the last five years, I've helped thousands of businesses get their websites from invisible to the first page on Google. I've taken clients like Indie 88 from struggling online to 400% growth in monthly page views and helped Alice Ben Rentals rank number one for over 150 keywords and generate over 29,000 clicks for Hue and Hatchet through strategic optimization. I've seen every mistake in the book and I'm gonna share exactly what's holding you back. So if you're tired of being invisible online and wanna finally get the organic traffic your business deserves, watch this video until the end. Problem number one. Your website isn't even in Google's index. All right, picture Google like a giant library. You can have the most helpful, interesting book, but if it's buried way in the back corner and it's not cataloged, no one's ever gonna know it exists and no one's ever gonna read it. And that's what it's like when your website isn't in Google's index. It has nothing to do with how good your content is. It's about whether Google knows it's there in the first place. Google's crawling and indexing process works the same way. If your website isn't indexed, it's completely invisible to search results. Here's how to check. Go to Google and type site colon your if nothing shows up, that means you're not indexed. You can see here, if you see pages listed, that's good. But pay attention to the number. You should see most of your important pages. One of the most common indexing killers is no index tags accidentally left from developers. I see this all the time, guys. Your robot's text file blocking Google entirely or the website is new and hasn't been submitted properly to Google yet. A few years back, I was working with a client who wasn't appearing in search results. They had just got a website redesigned, so I checked the robot's text file and it was blocking Google. The developer forgot to remove the blocker. Once I fixed it, they went from getting zero traffic back to getting thousands of visitors a month. So here's how to fix your indexing. Set up Google Search Console immediately, audit your robot's text file, create and submit an XML sitemap. Most website builders will build this for you automatically and request indexing for your most important pages. That's really it. Problem number two, your technical foundation is broken. Think of your website like a house. A beautiful design means nothing if the foundation is cracked, right? Technical issues are the foundation that can prevent Google from properly understanding your site. First, site speed is critical. Google uses a three second mobile loading bench Benchmark and 53% of users abandon sites that take longer than three seconds to load. And Core Web Vitals are now official ranking factors. They have fancy names, but basically make sure that your site loads in under 2.5 seconds. When someone clicks something on your website, it should react in under 100 milliseconds. And your content shouldn't shift after it loads. You know when you try to click a button on a page and then it shifts and you accidentally click on an ad by accident? Yeah, Google doesn't like that, and neither do real people. Since 2018, Google has used mobile-first indexing, meaning that it looks at the mobile version of your site before anything else. If your mobile site isn't working properly, your rankings are gonna suffer. Broken links and 404 errors block Google's crawling process and hurt user experience. Problem number three, wrong keyword strategy implementation. So most businesses create content based on industry jargon instead of understanding how your customers actually search. You don't need to overthink this, but you do need searcher empathy. You need to understand the difference between what you call your services and what your customers type into Google. Common mistakes include targeting overly broad, highly competitive terms without domain authority and ignoring long tail keyword opportunities that are easier to rank for. You also need to understand search intent. Informational is how-to guides and educational content. Commercial is is product comparisons and reviews, and transactional keywords are purchase-focused, location-based searches. The fix is to use tools to find profitable long-tail keywords and analyze what your competitors rank for and align yourself with specific search intent. Problem number four, content quality. So Google now prioritizes EAT and this is huge. The first E stands for experiments, demonstrating firsthand knowledge and real world application. The second E stands for expertise, showing deep knowledge and skill in your subject. The A stands for authoritativeness, recognition as a trusted source in your industry. And the T stands for trustworthiness. That's credibility, transparency, and accurate information. You can see here common content problems include content lacking depth, duplicate content, across pages and content that doesn't solve the reader's problems. Google prioritizes helpful people-first content with original research, case studies, and comprehensive topic coverage. Produce Like a Pro achieved 18,000 impressions and 5,400 clicks and number one ranking within one month in the highly competitive music production niche by creating comprehensive, experience-based tutorials showing real studio work with industry credentials. Problem number five, poor on-page optimization. People often mess up these important on-page elements. Title tags missing target keywords or exceeding character limits, meta descriptions that don't compel clicks, improper heading tag hierarchy, and guys, this is a rookie mistake I see all the time. 
images without descriptive alt text, poor internal linking structure. Google uses these elements as relevant signals. Your title tags and heading tags tell Google what your page is about, while your internal linking distributes authority throughout your entire site. Problem number six, complete absence of a link building strategy. All right, so backlinks are votes of confidence from other websites. A recent study showed that the number one position on Google has 3.8 times more backlinks than positions two to 10. Even perfect content won't rank for competitive terms without domain authority building through quality link acquisition. Common mistakes include purchasing low quality links from sites like Fiverr or via SEO expert emails, don't do this. And don't completely ignore link building or create content without considering the link worthy potential. Effective strategies include creating valuable resources that naturally attract links, guest posting with relationship building, and industry networking. Problem number seven, ignoring user experience and core web vitals. Since 2021, Google has been using user experience as an official ranking signal. This includes core web vitals, user behavior metrics like bounce rate and dwell time, and mobile usability. Poor user experience directly impacts your rankings. Users bouncing back to the search results tells Google your page didn't satisfy their query. Willow Dental ranks number one for over 45 keywords in the highly competitive dental market by focusing on core web vital optimization, local UX elements, and seamless appointment booking flow. So here's what you're gonna do. Week one, indexing and search console. Sign up for a Google search console account and verify that you have access. I put together a whole tutorial here for you. Then go to Google and type in site colon yourwebsite.com that I showed you earlier. Submit XML sitemaps and request indexing for key pages. Check and fix your robot's text file to see if it has any blocking issues. Week number two is your technical foundation. Run core web vitals assessment using PageSpeed Insights. Test mobile usability and fix critical issues. Guys, just use your phone here to see if your website looks good and works on mobile. Then identify and fix any broken links using a tool like the Hey Tony Audit tool. And then optimize and compress your images. This will make your website faster. Week three, on-page optimization. Audit and rewrite title tags for your top 10 most important pages. Create compelling meta descriptions that improve click-through rates. Restructure your heading tags with proper keyword hierarchy. And implement strategic internal linking between related pages. Week four is your content strategy. Identify thin content pages for improvement. Research comprehensive keyword opportunities. Go for easy, low volume keywords first. Plan content creation focusing on eat compliance. Begin crafting link-worthy resources. So here are some essential tools Tools, most of these are free. You don't need to overcomplicate this, guys. Use Google Search Console for complete website monitoring, PageSpeed Insights for your core web vitals. Use the Google Mobile Friendly Test to get your mobile usability assessment, and the Hey Tony Audit Tool to do technical SEO crawling. Long-term strategy development. Create an editorial calendar with keyword-focused content. Develop topic clusters for topical authority. Build industry relationships for natural link building. Set up monthly technical audits and quarterly core web vital assessments. So those are the seven hidden reasons why your website isn't ranking on Google and exactly how to fix them. Remember, foundation first, then optimization. You can't build a house or a skyscraper on a broken foundation. SEO takes three to six months to show significant results and often it takes longer, but these fixes can start helping immediately. Indexing fixes can have an impact within days. Start with the indexing check I mentioned. Go to Google right now and type site colon yourwebsite.com to see if you're even in the game. The systematic approach I've shared built my $2 million agency and has helped thousands of businesses achieve first page rankings. If you want to skip the learning curve and get expert help implementing all of these fixes, click on the first link in the description to get a free website audit. And if you want to talk to someone on my team, click the second link. And don't forget to like this video if it helped you. And don't forget to subscribe for more SEO strategies that actually work. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.